What is going on guys? It's Peekum Fun Fan 97 and I will be showing you guys how to use transitions in iMovie. So to begin with, you're going to have your clips imported into the timeline. And it should look something like this, um, you know, have everything nice and done. And you want to spice it up, you know, add some more stuff to it. And to do that, we're going to use transitions. Transitions, basically, the meaning of transitions is to move or to slightly move or to fade um, a clip into another clip uh, using an animation. And this is the transitions. Um, these are the only ones that come with iMovie. You can probably install more, but I doubt it, because this is the only ones that iMovie com that you, you get with iMovie. So no matter which one of these you select, it could be any of all of these, or it could be all of these, but I don't know why you choose all of them. But um, if you were, you c it'd work. But if you were to choose any of these, it will work uh, how I'm going to show you how to uh, use transitions and how to change the duration. But before we begin, let me clarify something. You cannot remove a fade from a transition because that's kind of pointless. I mean, that's that's what a transition does is to fade or to do a cool animation. So you can't possibly remove the fade. If you were to do a fade, if you were to do a fade just like this, you can't remove it. Something like this as well. So this will not work or fades at all in transitions. Probably in something else like in text, as you can see how it fades in. You could probably do that if you were to go and adjust uh, and click on text. It actually blurs it out so you cannot again change the fade uh, the time or uh, remove the fade as well so that's a bummer in iMovie you can of course do that in Final Cut Pro 10 because Final Cut Pro 10 is more advanced and it's much much better than iMovie but if you're a beginner and have iMovie great let's go ahead and begin so uh, choose any of these transitions I'll be using cross dissolve so I'm gonna oh, click and drag uh, as you can just click, you can use your mouse to move it around. It gives you this little uh, preview of the transition. Or you can just press space on your keyboard to actually um, play it. So drag the transition in the beginning of your clip. So right here, it turned blue. Or at the end of your clip, however you'd like. Select the transition and go to Adjust. Then click this I letter right here. It's usually the very last clip information. Then right here where it says uh, 1.0, which is the duration, which is one second, you erase that or change it. You can put 0 0.05, which is half a second because it's 0 0.5, 0 0.50. Or you can do 0.3 or 0 0.4, 5, 6, 7, whatever you'd like. Or you can do 3, you can do 20 seconds, um, you can do 2,000 seconds. <laughs> I don't know why you do that, but uh, in this case, I'll do 2.5 seconds. So you can do 2.5 mix up numbers, but try to keep it simple. So once you've done that, you will see that, right? If you move your cruiser down or you just, yeah, you will see 2.5 seconds. That means that's how long the duration of the transition is. So if I were to play it from the beginning, here's a little tip for you. Hold down FN and the back arrow key at the same time, and that will take you to the very beginning. Or if you want it to the end, hold down FN and the right arrow key, and that will take you to the very end of the clip. So that's a little tip for you. And to play it, just, pre just press space, and that will play the video. So when you play it, you will see that's two and a half seconds. So this is uh, pretty good for this type of video. Uh, I mean, you can choose. this works for any of the transitions. So I already told you that. It works with any of the transitions. So if we were to go ahead and play it, you can see that it goes in two and a half seconds. Or you can do it three seconds. Press enter, and there you go. It changes the time, and it takes longer. So that is how you do it. You can also do it at the end of the clip. Uh, if I, if you probably noticed that I dragged this, this is just to zoom in uh, into the timeline. So yeah. So if I were to do it at the very end, well, I don't want to do it at the end of the song, of course. I had to mute the audio because of YouTube copyright. But if we were to play it right here in the beginning, how, okay. Um, you would just drag a transition, place it right there, click on it, change the duration, I don't know, 0.5, and 
and there you go once it ends it will then fade away so that is how you work with transitions really I mean that's all you can do with transitions um, if you click on this right here it will uh, basically whoops whoa let's go ahead and go back um, this just tells you the cross dissolve if you try and clicking it it doesn't do anything um, now if you click if you have many transitions in your timeline you can click apply to all transitions this means whatever you change in the duration will apply to all of them so just keep that in mind when you have a lot of transitions in your footage so you have like a lot of clips or splits um, in it then you can just click apply to to all transitions and whatever you do to this and this well, it doesn't matter which transitions but the duration is you just click this and it'll apply to all so now this is three seconds so that's really it um, if you guys enjoy this tutorial then go ahead and leave a like comment share if you want subscribe which is a really favorite of mine if you're new and I'll see you guys in my next video peace